Hi everyone! Today I'm gonna do a quick video, well, a tutorial on how I make custom themes for my DSi XL. Basically, why I'm doing this video is because, one, I didn't really notice any tutorials on how to do this, except for one video which is basically just how to change the background in the Twilight menu settings for like the main modding part of the DSi system. But I never saw like an actual tutorial on how to do this. But anyways, enough of my rambling, I just hope you enjoyed this video on how to make custom themes for your, your DS because I really want to share on how I do it because I know some people are having hard times with it. Anyways, let's get started. Okay, first things first, we need our example skins, aka the template that we need for the DSi home screen. Go down to the link in the description and we should be at this page and then click on the highlight text called Example Skins. And then once you download that, go to Open and save it to your files. But I'm not gonna do that because I already have it saved to my files. Okay, now that we have our Example Skins, make sure you already ahead of time found your images. If not, you could just go to Pinterest and just type what you want. For me, I just picked some Sailor Moon references, some Sailor Moon color pages of the manga. Like this one, I'm gonna use this one. And then go to Canva. And the canvas size we are going to use is 256 by 192 pixels for both the bottom and top screen, because that's the size that the files are at for the example skins. So anyways, we're going to be at Canva right now to, to basically adjust it so we get a more clear look on how to design the screen. So right now I'm going over to Upload Files and I'm just going to grab Chip. I thought I had downloaded that. <laughs> Tickle difficulties, I'm a dum-dum. Okay, now it's downloaded. Okay, now I'm just gonna go over to my camera roll and I'm just gonna add this to this. And just so it fits the screen more, I'm just going to adjust it a bit. And then I'm gonna duplicate till I have four pages. You'll find out why we need four pages. And then hit the top. Label the first page is your top image. This is what your top screen is going to look like. And then label the second one as bottom. This is what your bottom screen is going to look like. And then label page three as big box. That's where your text box is going to be at. Because we're going to do that separately. And then make the fourth page micro box, aka your small box. You'll find out why we named it micro later as well. Okay, now I'm just gonna go back into camera roll and I'm just gonna add the image that I need for my bottom. Okay, now that we have our image for our top and bottom, we are now going to do the next step. Make our big box. So what I'm doing right now is that I am basically just making it easier so once we remove the background, it'll be a lot more easier to remove it so I can see it. So now, if you haven't already, unzip your files through the file, through your files app on your iPad, like I'm doing, and what I did is that I basically saved those images from that file. So. You basically need these images. So I'm basically just dragging the image from my file, from the example skins folder into Canva. And then I basically just add it here. So I have like a template guide on how to make the, how big I need the box to be. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just grabbing a shape Specifically, this shape with the cornered square, with the corner roundings. 
and I'm just stretching it until I cover this. Just barely till, I don't tell. I'm just adjusting it a little bit. And we will change the color later because first up we are just going to make the shape. Okay, now that we have our shape, tap the little meatballs and we're gonna head over to layer, show all layers, and we're just gonna drag this behind the square so it has an optical illusion one shape. And now I'm just going to make this white. And then do the same like you did with the big ball. And now I'm just deleting the template guide that I used to make the boxes. And now that we have our images, we're gonna head over to the share button and we're gonna hit save as. And just in cases, it probably already has it underneath suggested, but I always make sure that the file is saved as PNG. Otherwise I just use PNG as always because that's my go-to. And then we hit download. And one tip I noticed with the iOS version app of this, so if you get a pop-up like this, don't click save for images. It will duplicate two more times. So you will have like more images. So anyways, just tap out of it and it should automatically download without duplicating twice. I learned that the hard way. Anyways. Now we're going to go into Procreate. This is my go-to for this process. Anyways, head over to Import. And if you haven't already, unzip your files. And for me, I organize the files. It's already set where I can grab images. But if you're having a hard time finding them, just go to Recents. Type in Skin. Just type in skin examples and you should find it. And to find the background folder, go through, go to skin examples, head to DSI. And for this tutorial, we're going to do white. So click on white and here's your, all your asset files you need for this process. But today we're just going to do the background. So click on the background folder. And here's all your files that you need for the moving, so when your screen moves, so yeah, that's for moving the screen, so when you move your screen to DS, the bottom, put yourself in the that's your main bond screen, it's by itself. And these are the different size of bubbles when you're looking, when it's showing the game name. And lastly, we have our top. So for this, I'm just going to do my top image real quick. And then I'm just going to grab, then I'm just going to go over to this button right here, hit layers, press this plus button, and I have a second layer. Go over to this wrench, which is our actions, and we're going to click insert a photo. Well, tap insert a photo. Okay, I got confused. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to grab this image, and it should automatically set up right in the shape. And I'm just going to delete this so it is, so the DSI doesn't get confused and doesn't glitch out on me and then we're gonna delete that and then we're gonna keep that and we're gonna keep repeating this process till we have full images. And just so I know which goes to which theme, press hold on to the image onto your top and hover it over your bottom image until it's highlight blue and click on it and just and just overlap it and it should turn into a stack and i'm just going to label the stack as sm 
DSi theme. So I know what it is. Now our theme is in a group where we can just select all the images all by one in a group and we could share them. Anyways, now we have to go to remove.pg to remove our background for our text boxes. So what to do first for this is head over to upload image, then head to photo library for your iPad. And we're just going to do, you have to do this one by one sadly. So meanwhile that's doing its job. We're going to do the micro small box. And now I have to And don't be a little frustrated if this process doesn't work out. It takes a lot of trial and patience and error to get this perfect. Okay, so now I'm just gonna download the image, press hold on it, and we're gonna add it to photos. Same goes with our other image. Okay, now that we have our text boxes, we're now going to do the bottom bubble and the micro bottom bubble. And this time, instead of one layer, we're going to do two layers on top of the original hair. So this is going to be our background. So the first layer on top of layer three, underneath layer three, is our background. So that's where our background's going to be. And this is the big bubble, so we need to use the big bubble. Okay, there's our big bubble. And just to double check if it fits. Okay, now that it fits, we're going to get rid of this layer. And we're just gonna, and then we're just going to slide into here, and then we're gonna go into this like group and do the micro bubble. Okay, I fucked up. So we're just gonna grab, hold, press hold onto this layer and put it on top. And then we're gonna grab our background. And then delete the original layer and beam bada boom. We got our DS theme. Oh shit, I forgot our moving background. <laughs> I thought we were done. And now we're just gonna do the same thing with our Okay, now that we have our, now we have all the items for our theme, we're gonna do, now we're going to hit select, and we're just gonna click, we're just gonna tap on all the items, click share, make sure you share the image format as PNG, and now we're just gonna use my, just use a dry process for me, I'm just gonna use Google Drive for this process, and then I'm just gonna upload. Okay, now that we have our main editing program done for the editing part of the uh, DSi theme, we're now gonna move on to basically the background music and then exporting your theme to your, from, to your SD card to your DS. Okay, so editing me here just to let you know that uh, my mic was being incompetent with my laptop. So there won't be, yeah, there will be a voiceover because I'm just going to tell you how I did what I did for the audio for the background music. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I'm just copying I'm going over to the share button and copying the link from the share area from YouTube for my music. And then what I'm doing next is I'm copying and pasting the link from YouTube into YouTube which I'll leave it down below in the description. And I'm hitting convert. And this will take a little while for it to turn it into an MP3 file. 
And once you do that, hit download and exit out the open pop-up and it should download right away. Next, I'm going to Audacity, which I will leave down below in the description of the latest download or the latest like upgrade version of it. Hit the file, open, and for me, it should actually have it set to downloads and your download file should be up on top. And then I am just going to head over to track mix and mix stereo down to mono. I repeat tracks, mix, and then click mix stereo down to mono. And then I'm heading to edit, then preferences. So I'm just double checking the settings for the audio settings to make sure they're good to go. And I make sure the channels are set to mono because that's what it needs to be set as. And make sure your project sample rate and default sample rate are set to 48,000. And then the project sample rate is set to 16 bit. Okay, now that we hit OK. Okay, right now I'm just basically playing the file just to see how long I want my file to be for the music. Just to see what kind of like length I want the music to be and then I'm just marking with my mouse where I want it to stop at so I know exactly what to cut out from the audio itself. Once I do that I'm just heading over to the pause button and waiting for it to get over to that area pause it and highlight that area that I want to delete and hit control X. And right now I'm just trying to play that audio again that I just edited just to see if it sounds good. And I'm just going through it just to see if it sounds good, making sure there's no any F ups and yeah, basically that. And now I'm just trying my best to replay through the audio without fucking it up. Now, once my audio is done, I'm now heading over to File once again. Then head to Export Audio. And you'll get a window that says, how would you like to export? For now, I'm just going to do Export a Computer. And then what I'm doing right here is that I am basically labeling the file as BG, BGM, lowercase letters. Make sure the format is set to WAV Microsoft because it needs a WAV in order for it to work. Make sure the channels are set to mono and make sure your sample rate is set to 48,000 HC. The encoding is set to sign 16 bit PCM. And once you're doing that, Hit export and I just got Papa Wind to help me to replace the file. And now I'm just leaving Audacity. Okay, now for the big part. Finishing up the main file for your theme and adding to your SD card. So what I'm doing right now is that I am grabbing two windows. I'm making two windows, dragging that window over to the left side and I'm just adjusting it so I have an easier access to drag my files to my theme folder. And I'm heading to my DSI folder where I store everything related to DSI, go to my theme folder, then I'm heading over to new, make a new folder, and label it as your theme name. And then after I do that, open that folder, go to that folder, and make two folders labeled background and sound. Once you're doing that, head over to your background folder, click on it, and go inside it. And I already did the files earlier, I saved them for my Google Drive, and now I'm just extracting them. And after I do that, I'm just deleting the zip folder so I know which is which. And I'm highlighting all those files 
and copy them and paste them into the background folder. And once I'm done with that, I'm going to back out of the background folder and head into my sound folder. And then I'm just doing the same like I did with the background images and copy and pasting the background music file into the sound folder. And now I'm just getting prepared to export my... No, right now I'm just going over to Skin Examples, DSI, white, and then highlight all the files except for background folder, and copy and paste them into your folder. And then once I do that, now we have our theme folder finished and ready to go. I'm heading to DSI, head to theme into the other window, clicking on home for the, for the left side of the window, Okay, so now I just now added my SD card reader into my into my laptop. And now I'm just going to take my SD card out of my DS and add it into the SD card reader. Okay, now that my SD card reader, my SD card is in into my laptop, I'm clicking on the main base of the SD card. And then I'm going to NDS folder. Yeah, I'm just double checking. Go to NGS, then Twilight menu, then DSI menu, and then click on the themes folder. And now I'm just going to copy the our theme folder that we just finished making. And then I'm just copying and pasting that into the main folder. Okay. Now that we have our theme done, I'm now going to show you how to set up your theme into your DS. Okay, so now I'm just going to show you how to install your theme onto your DSi. For me, I have a DSi XL. So anyways... Sorry about the awkward camera, but my camera's upside down. Anyways. Go to this button right here and hit select. And then go all and then go to the Twilight menu plus plus settings and hit the A button. And now we're in the GUI settings. Okay, so go down and make sure you are on make sure your theme is set to DSI. And just tap these buttons here to scroll past to scroll through like the different options till you hit DSI. And we're going to hit the A button again and just go down till you see or find and your theme should be right here. So I'm just going to put some moon theme up, up and to set our background music, make sure you scroll down, go all the way down to DSi 3 S theme music and scroll through till you see theme instead of that. And just me being weird, I also set the setting music to be theme because just so I know it's working. And now that everything is good, now that everything's good, tap the middle button right here and we should be back at the home screen. And voila. And let me just, uh... okay, let me just his hand is being a bitch. And voila! Our background music is working. So yeah, this is just a simple but pretty easy tutorial. I know at the very beginning it would be very hard to figure out how to do this, but once you get the hang of it, you can basically make themes like this and even advanced ones when you're getting the pro at it. Anyways, anyways, I'm just gonna let uh, editing me do, well, current me, which is me, do an outro, like right now. Hey, um, thanks for watching this piece of garbage video. <laughs> I know I shouldn't call my videos garbage, but I was going through this video for half a month. 
because my computer was being an absolute butt munch and not cooperating with me. The audio was absolute zero garbage. I was originally going to do this tutorial all on the laptop, but my laptop was being so incompetent that I was going to rip my hair out and throw it out the window. But it never happened, so I'm thankful for that at least. <sighs> Anyways, thank you once again for watching this video, and I hope you're having a good day, but if not, I just hope this video at least cheered you up. Anyways, bye. See you around!